got a phone inside there. Oh. It doesn't work. You can try dialing it if you want to. <laughs> Your phone doesn't work. No. You're fucking with me, right? <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Come on. <laughs> Well, Mr. Caretaker, thanks for taking such good care. I uh, guess I'm going to have to try to find help someplace else. Like this bloody children's adventure with unicorns and machetes. It's got, it's, oh, it's got action and it's full of just bloody, made for kids sort of movie. We're going for something that the, fa the whole family can enjoy. It's just a good story, bloody. Raiders, unicorns with raiders on them. Just go and pitch this. I've, I've heard worse get commissioned. Uh, basically, uh, that's it. I mean, um, yeah, don't touch that. Um, well, it, it, it's a bit offbeat, you know. It, it's a little more culture than your usual movie fluff. I mean, I mean what? Not your usual movie fluff. I mean, not, not that you make Fletcher, Mr. Fluff. You know, if you want, you could um, stay in... One of those empty bungalows that we have, it's, you know, it's not totally comfortable, but it's probably better than sleeping in your truck. Yeah. There's no furniture or anything, but... Staying here tonight. I don't see what choice you have. I take it you, uh, you probably get pretty lonely, you know, being out here by yourself. And I have empathy for that. I do. And I understand that you probably get really bored, so the fact that you took my keys and my wallet doesn't even make me mad anymore. I get that it's probably just something that you needed to do, some form of entertainment, but I really need them back because I gotta get to Vegas and I have a lot of people relying on me to get there. So if you could please just, I promise, if, if you're worried about me talking to anybody or telling anybody about this, I won't say anything, but I just, I really need my keys and my wallet back, please. I don't have your keys or your wallet. Well, who took them? I mean, will they just fly off by themselves? You know what? Thanks for the sandwich. Whoa, 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 friend, friend, no. friend. Okay. What'd I do? Smokey Joe here wants to know what he did. Yeah, Smokey Joe. Maybe it doesn't have anything that I don't know to do with. Maybe four fires or three dead days. You throw your cigarette in the f***ing street. What are you guys, cops? Kinda. Are you? No. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you wearing? What does it look like we're wearing? Looks like you guys are going to West Hollywood Parade. No, not, not you two. You guys are off the force. On the contrary. Who are you? Chuck Rogers, Eternal Affairs. We tried to bust open this drug ring for months. We knew there was a guy working on the inside, but we couldn't shake it out. What? Thanks to Detectives Morgan and Stanley, we were able to bring down one of the biggest drug syndicates in the West. You gotta give this a shot. You gotta show her your balls. You're right. What am I doing here? I gotta show her my balls. I gotta show her my balls, show man. Show your balls. Show her my balls, man. Show your balls. Yeah. So basically, this week's movie review is a comedy called 310 to Yuma, which has just got packs of hilarious. It's just, it's basically, it's a true story based on a man and his big mama. And then there's this line in it where he's like, or she's like, you're so fat, you're like 300 pounds. And then he's like, hey, that's 310 to you, ma. And he's just, you just have to be there. It's really, it's ridiculous. So, George Clooney's pretty funny in it, too.